What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now we actually have some pretty exciting news in regards to the Marvel's Avengers game today. With the beta coming to an end over the latest weekend, the beta actually came out on PC over the weekend, and when anything comes to PC, there is always a ton of data miners, and with that, there has actually been some pretty freaking insane things that they have discovered. In fact, there is over 15 new unannounced heroes that they found in the file and there's even extra stuff to back that up. So in this video, I have Cookie here with me, a special guest. He's super excited for this game, so he will be giving his opinions along with me on some of these different heroes and stuff. And we're just going to go over all these potential new heroes that could be coming to the game and just sort of give you guys our thoughts. So, hello Cookie. Welcome back to the channel. Hello, Swanee. Alright, well, I'm trying to kind of hold myself back on excitement because I don't want to get massively disappointed. But if if any of you are even remotely Marvel fans to any degree, even if you just kind of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe or whatever, this is insane news, potentially. Because the more I look into it, the more it looks legit that this is actually going to happen. These, It looks like there's going to be an insane roster of characters to choose from to play. I don't I don't, uh, and we'll talk about all the different elements of how you'd be able to play with them, but from what it looks like, it looks like most, if not all, of these potential characters are going to have their own skill trees, they're going to have their own cosmetics, they're going to have their own challenge cards and stuff, just like uh, the six heroes we have right now do. It seems, it seems that at least most of these are going to have just as much customization options as the stuff that's already uh, confirmed in the game. That's insane. I mean, potentially, this game's going to have an ass ton of content. An incredible amount of oh, content. Oh, there's going to be a, a bunch of stuff to do. And regardless, I mean, there's tons of mixed opinions out there about this game. I by no means think this game's perfect. It definitely has its flaws. But I do have a lot of fun, especially playing with you mm -hmm. and playing with friends in general. It just makes the experience a lot better. And we were kind of worried playing the beta. Like, is this all that the game's going to have to offer? And since then, we've learned that there's like three different skill trees that's going to be in the final game. There's all these potential new heroes. Like, there's going to be tons of stuff to do in this game, which has me way more excited than what I originally was just playing through the beta. But uh, let's get into this list. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of them that could be potential. Now, this list doesn't mean that they're all coming to the game. If I can say one more thing before we get into that. Okay. Um, I think an important note is, at least in the files, it list all these as unlockable characters in the files, which obviously would make you think that it's it's really kind of a question of how long it would take for these to get into the game. I seriously doubt they're going to be available at launch. That would be way too good to be true. and would make no sense that they didn't put any of that into the advertising for this game. But um, oh, no. it, it looks like eventually over time, like hopefully it's not something you have to buy like with real money hopefully it's I, they'll probably give you that option but hopefully it's stuff that you can unlock by playing the game which honestly i'm totally in favor of i think that well they really, already said really that cool. all the dlc is going to be free so you yeah. don't have to worry about that like all That's the right. heroes coming are going to be included with the live service approach that they're doing so i'm just saying it's under unlockable characters which honestly makes it seem that much more realistic that this is definitely going to happen which gosh but anyway yeah but like i said or like I was saying, this doesn't mean that all these characters are coming to the game. These are just like placeholder names. I mean, these are names that could potentially come to the game. I wouldn't expect every single one of these, so I wouldn't get super angry if like a year down the road we don't see XYZ hero name. So these are just placeholder names. But to get into the list, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp as number one and number two. Those kind of go together. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, there's already, like, Hank Pym references in the game. You, there's already Pym particles where some characters can get small. I don't know how that would work. You obviously couldn't get the size of an ant. Well, I don't know. Maybe they have some sort of plan for that. But, I mean, Ant-Man and the Wasp, if they were going to have an impressive roster of characters, I would have expected those two for sure with all the Pym references, like you said. Um, honestly, that that's one that I would not have been surprised at all to see as a possibility but like you said it's it's going to be kind of complicated i'm not sure how they would make ant-man and the wasp work because obviously their powers are based on how mm -hmm. small they can get and still fight so i doubt they'll be ant-sized but 
they've already shown they've already made like you can punch an enemy and make them really small. I assume you can probably get. Well, like, they also already have the technology with Kamala to make a character but, big, you know, so they could sized. maybe do both. Like maybe Ant Man can get small and big. Yeah. Who knows? Giant Man. <laughs> That would be pretty badass. I, I would expect Giant Man to be like one of his ultimates. Yeah, or and the Wasp is was always really, pretty cool, really and she cool can fly. Too. So that would be another flying character that they could add. Um, but then mm-hmm. next up we have Vision. Vision's pretty cool. Now, now a lot of this I don't follow the comics mm-hmm. at all. I know most of these characters, but some of these I have no clue who they even are. I just go based off of like the MCU and stuff. Some of these I've heard of, but I know some about Vision outside of the movies. I mean, he he's pretty neat. I would be cool if if he was added. I wouldn't care. Yeah. I mean, there's some characters I'd like to see added over him instead of him. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if we're getting like eight or nine of these people off this list, I would be fine if Vision was added to the game. I mean, he's got some cool abilities. He can fly. I'm all for Vision. Sure. I think and like I think one of his like dodge moves could just be that he kind of makes a person go through him for a second or something. Oh, that would be really cool yeah, if they could figure phases. out how to do that because that's one of his famous things is that he. That he kind of goes like, I don't even know how to, how to word that. But yeah, like a person just can phase right through him. That could be his dodge move. That would be awesome. It would be really badass because it would be really true to his character too. Because he doesn't like move, or, I mean he can move super fast, but he kind of does things in almost, almost a more dignified manner. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for there, but he kind of does things slower. So that would kind of work for a yeah. dodge move for him, and then we have- to be honest. But I think it'd be really cool. I mean, yeah. He, of course, flies. But next through. up, we have Black Panther and Doctor Strange. Now, Black Panther would be obviously more like melee centric, mm-hmm. and there's a ton of different stuff they could do with his armor, especially sure. like in the movie, where like the more hits he took and it like created a pulse. So like the more damage he could take, he could just use that mm-hmm. against his opponents, which could be pretty neat. Uh, Doctor Strange, there's a ton of different options they could do with him. I don't really know how his abilities would work he's kind of i mean he's got such an arsenal of abilities dr strange i don't know what he would really do i think like black panther would share a lot of similarities with black widow with agility he's an extremely agile hero um but you're right i think especially because it seems like they're taking a lot from the mcu in this game you know obviously all the characters look very similar to what they look like in the mcu they carry some traits that i think were kind of just from the mcu basically and stuff from the comics too so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they make the black panther suit able to like take in a lot of bullets and it kind of charges it up and then he can attack with a better uh better power and stuff that would make a lot of sense for his character but black panther makes more sense than almost anybody on this list to be added especially after how popular his movie was his history with the avengers um and the fact that his character i don't think would be that hard for them to make like his abilities aren't super complicated i think they could make him relatively plus, easily so he seemed like a no-brainer honestly yeah plus that would add more heroes. diversity to the roster i think if anybody has like a whole like an almost guaranteed slot it's probably black panther which i'm fine with i'm okay with black panther yeah and he has such cool cosmetics oh his cosmetics would be so badass oh yeah his costumes so cool. would be so really cool. cool so i mean even if there's not even if we like Black Panther, just to know he's going to be in the game, is uh, super badass for me. I'm really excited for him. Doctor Strange, on the other hand, he's the other side. Like, I think he's really cool, and there could be a lot they could do with him, too. But he's going to have, like, his powers could be anything. He's so complex with his abilities. I <laughs> He'd be kind of hard to make because he's not really super agile and jumping around. He's going to be more like, you know doing weird spells and stuff so i'm not really sure how dr strange would look in the game yeah he, he would definitely be one of the the harder ones uh but next we have falcon and marvell uh falcon i think would be really cool especially based off of the mcu version like he uh, he's got tons of things he can use rockets uh he's got his like uzis that he used he can fly i mean he's got tons of different stuff that would be really cool things to do in this game i think he would be a great addition to the game and marvell i know almost like nothing about so i don't really have anything to say about him i'm surprised like there are some people i think that know a lot more about her might be more excited for i just don't know anything about marvell (laughs) outside of the captain marvel movie and that did not make her look like a very interesting character i don't even know 
honestly, I know almost nothing about Marvel, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. I don't know uh, if that's going to be a major selling point. But you're right about Falcon. Uh, he can share a lot of abilities with Iron Man, especially with the flying abilities and stuff and the guns that he'll break out and stuff. And he's more melee-centric, which is another thing that's going to make Doctor Strange really weird because there's so much melee that goes on in this game with the characters that are already in it. And I don't, I can't even imagine Doctor Strange fighting hand-to-hand. -hand. just seems kind of weird. But that, that could work definitely for Falcon. You know, pop his wings out, too, while he's fighting would be cool. Well, next up we have Mockingbird and Quake, and I don't know anything about either of those two either. I know Mockingbird, I think, has to do with Black Widow, but I don't know anything really about them. I can't even say him or her because I'm not sure <laughs> what even is the gender of Mockingbird. I know so little. Quake, I know a little bit. She's an Inhuman, I'm pretty sure. And she has, like, like pulsing abilities and stuff. She could actually be really, really cool if they do her right. Um... Like, if you know Shocker from the Spider-Man villains, I think they share a lot of similar abilities. Like, they kind of shoot out these little force waves and stuff. So Quake Quake is also one that's not that surprising with the whole Inhumans thing they have going on in the plot and her being an Inhuman. I'm actually kind of surprised there's not more of the Inhumans other than her and, like, uh, Kamala. But, um, yeah, she, she could be really cool if they do it right. Her powers are kind of neat. Well, I just want to see a, a wide variety of different heroes. I don't want two heroes to feel similar when they play as one another. So It looks like we're going to have a wide variety yeah. based on what, uh, what I'm seeing right here. Well, the next two is Winter Soldier and Scarlet Witch, both <laughs> I'm aware of, obviously, because of the MCU. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with both of these. Um, Winter Soldier, are they just going to like give him a gun? Or is he just going to run around and I mean, punch people with his arm? Yeah. <laughs> Don't really He's going to be harder because, what like, Black Widow obviously do? has guns, but they're just pistols. So it's, you know, it's simple and stuff. You know, it would make sense that she might be holding pistols. Winter Soldier usually has, like, a automatic... I mean, he's got a machine gun. He's not. He can't just, like, holster a machine gun in his back. I mean, I guess he can. I guess maybe he could, like, just put it on his back and break it out from time to time. But... I don't know. I guess that's how, however they decide to deal with him. But usually, yeah, he's got some kind of machine gun or something, so... I don't know. They could they could do that a lot of different ways. But with his arm and stuff, his, his like melee and combat, yeah. he does make a lot of sense. And his history with Captain America, uh, it makes sense to add him to the game. And his character got so much more interesting from the MCU and stuff like that. And people know him so much more. Scarlet Witch has like a million options. Like she can fly. She's got a bunch of powers. She's really strong. Uh, who knows what they could do? The, pro the problem with her is like... Yeah. It's kind of the same with Doctor Strange. She has so many different abilities that she can do. She can do pretty much anything. They'd have to lock it down to like three major mm -hmm. abilities for her. So she'd be definitely one of the harder ones to probably design, would be my guess. I would think. And the other and um, doesn't mean that she wouldn't come, but she also shares the same problem with Doctor Strange because she's not melee based that much. I mean, she's usually fighting from distance. Um, and we know Hawkeye's coming into the game without a doubt. I'm still interested to see how they implement him because he's also not super melee based. And all the characters that are in it right now are. So, I, I don't know. Like, it, like Scarlet Witch would generally be further away from the combat usually. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll just have everybody have a lot more melee type stuff. Maybe, maybe that's how they'll do it, but... Yeah, it's going to be a little unusual to see her on the battlefield if she's, like, yeah. punching people like Black Widow and the Hulk or something. And then we're down to the final four, which is uh, we have Captain Marvel and Kate Bishop. Yeah, I think Kate Bishop, um, you know, being the female Hawkeye, basically, there's not a lot of excitement that's going to come through with that because I would imagine she'll share a ton with Hawkeye. Now, if she has, like, if she's very different in some way to Hawkeye, that could be kind of cool, but... I don't imagine a whole lot of excitement around that. Captain Marvel, it makes sense. It's another character that made a, you know, is very, very popular, and her melee skills and stuff, I don't think she'd be that hard for them to make either. Yeah, well, she's one character that I would, I could see totally come into the game as well. If anyone has, a, like, an almost guaranteed yeah. slot, I think it's her. She can fly. She adds diversity to the roster. She's got crazy abilities. She can, like, shoot as she's flying. She can send out those pulses i mean she would probably play similar to like thor and iron man but i mean i could totally see her just mm -hmm. being there out of anybody on this list i think she's got a yeah. pretty locked in slot um but yeah kate bishop 
I feel like her really and care. Black Panther are like the most obvious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they just make the most sense for them to add to this game, yeah. and they wouldn't be that hard for them to make either. Um, um, there were a couple others I've seen mentioned too. I don't know if that was the end of your list. No, there's two more, which are She Hulk and War Machine. Oh, yeah, which that's the two I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, those two get into like this is where you have the problem of are they too similar to other characters? Like She Hulk, what's the difference between She Hulk and Hulk? Like what? How are they going to vary their abilities is the problem I have. I was going to say, say the very machine. obvious difference, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. Male and female. Yeah, well, War Machine is like, he's basically just an Iron Man suit. Like, he's got different gadgets, but how similar to Iron Man is he really going to play? Like, I think it'd be cool to have War Machine and you have like a minigun on your back and stuff. That would be really cool. But I don't want him to feel too similar to Iron Man. That's the problem i have yeah i like i hope they have very different powers i hope they fight a little differently i mean she hulk is slightly smaller than hulk i don't know if she'll be more agile or something i don't know a lot about she hulk but i would imagine that would be kind of hard but depends on what she hulk they use it's also true (laughs) so i don't know i think um war machine i hope doesn't have the exact same flying ability as iron man i think he's usually a little slower he's more bulky an Iron Man for the most part, so I would think maybe they'll have him fly, but not as ad- ad- agile I'm making up words during this, for the record. As agile is not a as word. Agile? I'm going with it for right now. Uh, so maybe that's what War Machine will be more of a power-based kind of a uh, suit kind of thing. But I think they can make War Machine a lot different if they like... Slow, clunky. At least in the gadgets and stuff that he uses. She-Hulk and Hulk... That's going to be kind of difficult for them to make that super different, but I, I mean, the more the merrier for me, I guess. Almost all of these characters have a lot of customization options, so they would all have like tons of different outfits, which I'm all for. Which some of that stuff was already found in the data mine mm-hmm. stuff, like they have different banners and nameplates and and you know different things that you would see in the marketplace for some of these characters that have been data mined. So that's a huge plus, like. Freaking War Machine would have some really cool skins. Mm-hmm. Um, who else on here? Black Panther, like you said, would have I some cool Falcon skins. Some of some them are a little bit harder. Skins, uh, skins, too. I'm thinking back to the yeah. comics and stuff. Scarlet Witch like, has some interesting skins. Vision, I I don't know as much. I don't know how he would have crazy skins. Uh, Doctor Strange, I don't really know what they could I'm do. I'm sure he has really. skins. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of just depends. <laughs> but I'm sure he has them. I'm sure somewhere in the comics they've got a million skins that they could use. This is huge for this game. I mean, it's got potential. They're going to do the live service approach. They don't have anything set in stone. I've seen developers say that they want to have updates go out every two weeks, but then I've also seen them say monthly to bi-monthly. I would imagine it's probably going to be like Battlefront 2. It's going to depend on how popular the game is. If this is a huge success, then we might see like monthly updates, but if it slows down then we might see like every other month who knows it that's the problem with live service is nothing's locked in stone so we have no idea we could maybe see one of these heroes come every single month and it keeps the game live and fresh for like two years to come or this could just all fall apart the game doesn't sell very well it has a rough you know crappy launch and it's full of bugs and nobody buys it and then we don't get even half of these so it's very possible it's, it's hard to tell yeah, and I mean, we don't know necessarily if all these characters are going to come in the way that we want them to. I, it looks, from everything I've seen, it looks like they're going to come in, like I said, the way that the six characters are that are in there right now. But there is a chance they don't have as much skill trees, there's not as much you can do with them, or there's a chance that some of these characters are just cameos. They might not be characters at all, but it doesn't look like that's going to that's also it doesn't true. look like that's what's going to happen. But I'm just saying this, like, I don't want everybody to be like, oh, confirmed, all these people are coming to the game. It's not really confirmed. It just looks that way based on what we're looking at right now. And it definitely looks like there's a reason for a lot of excitement. But you never know. I mean, this is how data mining stuff goes. This could all just be stuff that doesn't go anywhere. They might not have any of this stuff in the game. It's also very possible. And then as... As, like, closing thoughts, if we get all these, like, characters and stuff, I just hope that they add tons of missions to go along with them so that, like, when we get five or six new characters, we're not just 
replaying the same missions because that's going to get so repetitive because every character has three pages of skills and if you're replaying the same missions over and over and over with four or five different characters just to level them up all the way this is going to get just grindy and it's not going to feel fun and exciting anymore so they have to add tons of new missions and things to do alongside these or characters. make these missions like give something back even if you do do them over and over again make it worth it to keep playing it over and over again i don't know if they could like have some system where you could try and get the highest score in a certain kind of mission or something and maybe even be able to compare that to people around the world or something just random thoughts that they could do to make the game more fresh you could like try and main a certain character with your friends and stuff and you know, try to get the best score. Mm -hmm. There are ways that they can keep it fresh, but you're right. They need to have a lot of variety because especially if all of these characters have their own skill trees and all the skills that the characters we, we have right now have, Oh my God, you're going to, you'll be playing this game forever. So you want the missions to be fresh too. You don't want that to uh, kind of ruin all the customization you could have, but I don't know. There's a chance this game could be like one of the most fun games I've ever played. I mean, if it has all these characters with all those skill trees, all the customization, and has all those fun missions, not even caring about the campaign, this is one of the most fun games I've ever seen <laughs> based on just looking at it from the outside. But there's a lot that has to happen. And I guess we'll see where... We'll see where yep, things go. We've got high hopes. Got high hopes. Definitely higher now. Yep. But uh, that does it for the list of the data mind heroes. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Which one of these on this list are you guys most excited for? If you could pick any, just one out of the entire list, you only get one. Let me know which one it would be. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on Twitch at SwanyPlaysGamesLive and be sure to join the channel's Discord. And then if you haven't yet already, go subscribe to Cookie's channel. Cookie's been on a little bit of a break, but he's going to get it back up and running here. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Hopefully in two weeks it should be back up and running. Okay. Well, had some technical difficulties, yeah. I guess is what you would call it. Go <laughs> ahead and subscribe to him, and I will talk to you guys later. So goodbye. Goodbye.